boys and girls, welcome to Chuckle Corner. And here's your chief chuckler, Princess Joyce. Thanks, Princess Thelma. Good day, little chucklers. <laughs> now, before we take off on our merry-go-round of mirth, it's medicine time. If you would, Princess Thelma. There you are. Bit more pet. <laughs> That'll do. Can we have some medicine taking music, please, Princess Michael? Last night I had a great chuckle. <laughs> but I've forgotten it, so little chucklers, let's get off our merry-go-round of mirth before I chuckle again. <laughs> and go to Pet Corner with Princess Ralph. G'day, Princess Ralph. How are our little furry things in the cold light of the day? Not real good, Princess Joyce. Join the club. Right out, chucklers, is Pet's Corner. Today, Turtles. Little Mary Bullocks writes, Dear Princess Ralph, my turtle Arnold hasn't come out of his shell for eight weeks. But I know he's in there because I can hear the shower running. How do, I get How do I get him out? Well, little chuckler Bollocks, it's very simple. Turn him on his back and run over his stomach lightly with a hot iron. And if that doesn't work, bury him in the garden and get yourself another tadpole. Back to you, Princess Joyce. Cheers! Cheers, Ralph. Now it's knitting corner, but first let's steady our hands with medicine time again. <laughs> Medicine's doing a power of good, Princess Ralph. Just a ticket, Princess Joyce. Well, little chucklers, without further ado, it's time for... Oh, golly, dearie me, we seem to have run out of medicine, Princess Ralph. And that's sad, Princess Joyce. Sad as bloody disastrous. <laughs> well, little chucklers, if Princess Ralph will slip us a couple of bucks, I'll jump into Noddy's chuckle wagon and whip <laughs> round to the chuckle palace and pick up another six-pack of medicine. <laughs> so, take it away, Princess Ralph. Run out, Princess Joyce, but uh, drive carefully, because Noddy's chuckle wagon's light on for brakes and is out of regio. Now, <laughs> little chucklers, let's skip into nature's realm. A little skipping music, Princess Michael. That's enough, thank you very much. Here we are in nature's realm. Let's meet our first furry friend, the goldfish, little Benny Croc. He's aged eight and three quarters, and Benny writes to goldfish jump. Well, the short answer, Benny, is no. But with patient training and a lot of love and understanding, no kicking, your goldfish <laughs> will jump beautifully. And here's what you do. Ask Mummy to give you a long piece of string and then very carefully tie one end around the goldfish's tail. Remember, no kicking now. You tie the other end to a brick and you chuck it over the hedge. <laughs> you will find that your surprised goldfish will tend to follow the brick, <laughs> thus creating a jumping motion. Repeat this exercise often and soon you'll find that your goldfish will jump whenever he sees a brick. <laughs> and if this doesn't work, bury him in the garden and buy yourself a tadpole. <laughs> 